Hello and welcome to this training module. Ian Del Carmen here and today's video tutorial is for the users of the Bookstore app powered by appatap.com. How to edit your Bookstore app template. Sub lessons. How to duplicate any app or other mobile devices. How to send push notifications to your mobile app users. Let's begin. The first step is to choose the Bookstore template that you want to use. Let's choose this one for the mobile phone for now but you can easily duplicate it for other devices later. We'll publish it on an Android phone later, so we'll choose this. You will see all the files of the app on this side. Each of the ebook cover on this preview is linked to a specific ebook file right here. The template makes it easy for you to set everything up. eCover1 linked to ebook1, eCover2 linked to ebook2, and so on. If you want to use a PDF ebook, you have these files. If you want to use an EPUB file, you have these files. Now, if you want to create an HTML ebook, you have these files. To edit each file, just click here. If you want to delete a file, click here. If you want to add a file, click here. For the purpose of this demonstration, let's delete these files and focus on one PDF. You can easily duplicate this later to add more ebooks to your app. Now let's work on this one ebook. To change the e-cover, click here. Go here and click to upload the new e-cover. Click save and click done. You would want to replace the PDF book link to the e-cover we just uploaded. Just click here, then click here. Click here to upload your PDF book. Note that if you want to use an ebook in an EPUB format, you can use this file and edit it. Feel free to be more creative in setting up your Bookstore app. You can link the e-cover, for example, to a mobile-friendly mini site or to any other link. These templates can be edited using the HTML codes. You may edit any of the pages here. What I would do is to have one ebook here as a free ebook, then add more premium ebooks that people can access only after they have paid through JBZoo. Of course, you can use any other payment gateways like ClickBank or PayPal. This page can be a digital library or catalog, and I can have the second button to go to the JBZoo's customer portal where my customers can access their paid ebooks. I would suggest that you create a new JVSU account for this purpose so only ebooks can be accessed on the customer portal when they log in. AppaTap also has other features where your customers can log into a secure area. You may also consider that if you are an advanced user. But to make things easy and not complicated, you can follow my instructions on this video to get started. If you want to duplicate the same app for other devices, here's how to do it. Click here, go here, then click here, click here, then you can edit it again to your liking. As an added tutorial, here's how to use push notifications to send a message to all your customers. Just click here. You can type your message here. Then click here. 
Apatap and Apps Moments resident trainer Maxim Gui created more tutorials that you can access at apatap.com slash tutorials. Thank you for joining me today and until next time, this is Ian Del Carmen signing off for now.